Hey guys. I'm Jerry. I'm Sierra. We're ladies. And we tangent. What's up, everyone? Hello. Oh my God, I just revealed your toes. I'm so Whoa! sorry. <laughs> Not for free. <laughs> Not for free. I am just getting home in the future. Oh future me. Future you. How was your trip? So good. Aww, so good. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. Everything's great in my life. Everything be is wonderful. Better. <laughs> so. And same. same. Yeah, I love that for me. We're having our shows. We are. Tomorrow. tomorrow. Pittsburgh. Wow! We'll see you tomorrow, tomorrow. Unless you're someone who doesn't listen on the day that this comes out. In which in case. In which case, we'll see you sometime or we'll never. S- who we'll knows? see you in your dreams. <laughs> who knows? <laughs> uh, today's my birthday. It is. <laughs> Happy birthday, me. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm probably doing nothing. I hope for my sake that I'm doing absolutely nothing. Mm-hmm. I hope I'm sitting in my hot tub and... Doing nothing. Doing nothing. <laughs> Love that for you. That's the energy I want. My mom was like, do you want a cake? I was like, I want nothing. Oh, <laughs> oh I forgot. A thing. I forgot to mention this on my birthday episode. But T- Take this one for yourself. Oh, okay. As well. Okay. Because <laughs> we didn't talk about your birthday much. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, It was my birthday last time. Yeah. But uh, I woke up this morning and Shane had made streamers. Oh. But he was planning to go to Walmart. Mm-hmm. My husband is so sweet. He has so many ideas. (laughs) So little follow through. The execution. (laughs) And it's a lot of times because he procrastinates. Because he thinks he has time. Because there's so much going on. And he's like, this needs, we'll just bump this down. We'll bump this down. I'll get to it. I'll get to it. And so last night, Mm -hmm. I asked him when we got back from laying on my hill together. I said, do you want to watch something with me? And he was like, I was hoping you'd come home earlier. I have stuff to get ready and I was like, what do you have to get ready? And he's like, tomorrow. And I said, well, can't you do that after I go to sleep? And he's like, well, I have to go to the store. And I said, where are you going to go? He said, Walmart. I said, Walmart closes at 11. And he goes, fuck. <laughs> and so we couldn't go to the store to get me birthday things, yeah. like birthday decorations. Right. Because Walmart was closed. Um, because Sierra and I did stay up on the hill until almost 11 o'clock. No regret. Yeah, none at all. <laughs> Not at all. We were trying to wait for it to get dark so we could see the stars, and it stayed very light for a very long time. It did, and then when we were watching the stars, we wanted to see them all come out. Uh huh. Turns out they come out at different times. Well, we didn't even stay up there for it to get pitch black. No, that wasn't the darkest that it got. I know because we didn't see all the stars. I was trying to find that big dip. I know we were really struggling. Yeah. Um, but someone want to explain stars to us? You go for it. I'm confused <laughs> about a lot of things. Well, we'll talk that's about that that's later. some time travel stuff. I know. So he got construction paper from the basement and he cut squares <laughs> and put it on string and Aww. hung it <laughs> like garland. Cute. It was really cute. And then he, he made me a cake. Sure. And then he cut construction paper again and put it on really tall sticks and spelled happy birthday. I don't think they're ever going to fit on that cake because <laughs> the cake is the size of a regular bunt pan. <laughs> but... Sure. The thought I was like there. That. I like the thought. Yeah, the thought I was find, there. I find humor and stuff like that. Like for me in those moments, it really is the thought that counts no, because truly, it gives me I a wish, chuckle. I'm, I'm glad you did it like a five-year-old. That makes it funnier. <laughs> <laughs> oh, That's I good. so cute. <laughs> yeah. I think it's so cute. But I like agree. our I intention agree. was to celebrate everything in Washington. Sure. When we go, because we're going to stay in a Hobbit Hole Airbnb. I'm very excited. I know. Um. When this comes out, I went to the Blink-182 concert. Did I see any of you there? I don't know. Maybe. I feel like maybe one person. Yeah. I didn't get anyone that went up to me that recognized me that I know of, but there was somebody in the airport that I think might have. Also, Mm. Christine, if you're listening from And That's Why We Drink. Yes. I wore her t-shirt to travel in. I had so many compliments on it. So many people were like, oh my God, I love your t-shirt. Trying to be like, I like, and I want to be like, she's my friend. She's (laughs) she's coming to my wedding. (laughs) I didn't want to like say that. And also she might, I mean, I think she is. (laughs) Like, I didn't want to be that person. Yeah. So I was just like, yeah, I love their podcast. It's amazing. Um, (laughs) But there was somebody who said, oh my God, hi to me at the airport as she was standing in line. But she had a baby and I had a baby. And I was like, hi. And also I have a face. I've heard from multiple people that I have a face that is like recognizable. recognizable, Like they think they know you, but they don't. Yeah. 
I've gotten so many people before the podcast that have come up to me and been like, hi, remember I'm so and so. And I'm like, I'm nope. not who you think I am <laughs> at all. Um, but this person did that to me. And then they were like, oh, you know, rough traveling with a little one. And I was like, I feel that. So I was like, are you just talking to me? Because we both have babies. Did you recognize me from the podcast? Uh-huh. Do I have a face you think you know? I couldn't gauge it. I and get- I didn't want to make them feel bad. So I just talked to them like I did know them and then walked away. And I was like, oh, I had a crisis like that um, at the Lego convention that I went to. Yeah. There was one person I know for sure who I was walking past. And she smiled at me and she said, I won't be weird. And I said, you listen to the podcast? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Which like, be weird. Be weird. No, if anything. I, and announce it. Announce that you're being weird. I like that. I like that. Well, here's, the, here's what that did for me. I felt like I had a friend there mm-hmm. and my anxiety immediately went down. Mm-hmm. I can't tell you how much better I felt because when I'm in a space like that and everyone's doing their own thing and mm. there's really no formula for anything. I get so overstimulated and so overwhelmed. Oh, conventions are horrible. So Honestly, when I can't. When you said that to me, it kind of made me feel like you know who I am. Yeah. You are a comfort person to me, even though I don't know who you are. I at least know you're here. Yes. And, and you're then going through the same thing. There me. were three, three or four people who were in a group. One of them had green hair. And in my mind, they were looking at me like they wanted to approach me. Yes. And, but it, I can't walk up to them and be like, you know me. Do you want to talk to me? <laughs> because imagine, imagine they don't. <laughs> imagine they don't. And I'm like, I just interrupted something and yeah. now I'm weird. So I, I maybe if you're listening to this, you're like, get over yourself. That shit happens. There was somebody at the Trixie and Katya show we yes. went to who I thought was looking at us. And then I was like, stop, you're being such a fucking narcissist right now. And then they sent me a picture of myself. <laughs> we're like, hey, I was too nervous to say hi, but I just want you to know I'm a fan. And you were sitting right here in front of me. And I was like. Oh my God, please say hi, please. <laughs> well, they they were around us and then they walked past us, but yeah. we're still like next to us and they just lingered. And yeah. like at conventions, you don't really linger. There's stuff to see. Yeah. And so they were kind of in our orbit and then we were leaving and walking past them. And I remember thinking, now's your chance. I'm going to leave. Yeah. If you want to say something, now's the time. <laughs> and they didn't. So... <laughs> I'll never know if I was just being an absolute narcissist right. or if there were people that I just like got a spidey sense about. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Um, so before we get into the the episode today. I'm excited. So I'm doing my um, pitter patter on myself. I mentioned in the last episode that I got hi. She sure did. I wanted to read to you what I wrote. Oh, my God. <laughs> Are you going to read the the message you wrote me first of all the text you sent me where <laughs> would I was you like, like to read that while i pull up yeah here we go <laughs> here was the text i received by the way while i'm on my vacation that was that was not going <laughs> really great um this was the text i got oh i just scrolled past the picture of soybeans on the way home i didn't say this on the last one but on the flight home she fell asleep because it was in the morning it was like, uh, I think our flight was at like 6.30 a.m. or something. Or no, I'm sorry. That's when we got to the airport. Our flight was at 8. But 8.30. Um, anyways, and she fell asleep on me and was just sleeping like such a sweet, sweet, good little girl. And I have a picture of her sleeping on me and sleeping on Corey. It was just fucking great. Okay, hold on. Here we go. <laughs> um, so Sierra's trip is butt shit and she receives a text from me. Yes. And it's, oh, wait, this was the face he made. <laughs> You remember the pottery face? Oh yeah. You sent me that right after. Oh horrifying. yeah. When I was when I was waiting for like I didn't talk about this. I forgot about that. When I was waiting for to hear back from our builder and from the realtor about um if it was going to be doable, if they had accepted our offer That's because such a hard like point when you're just in limbo waiting for because i can't do like anything you, there it's out of your control yes which i hate i know and so i started crafting because i can control something yeah then and i made a terrifyingly realistic looking mask <laughs> of an old man and then the i teeth put were him really good the, it was terrifying he had an overbite for yeah. sure um but it was good it, it looks it, it's, real and that's and why not it's perfect and that's why i like it and that's why it's scary yeah and then i decided scary. what's gonna make it less scary if i make it into a, a plant pot and so now we've been calling it plant plant paw plant paw <laughs> plant paw <laughs> it needs 
<laughs> yeah, he's yeah. horrifying still. Yeah. But it's it's fine. I made him look like a tree, kind of like Grandmother Willow. My sister mentioned something like, "Oh, it looks like Grandmother Willow," and I was like, "Yeah, let's go with that." But yeah, I made but like the sp- plant in the there. spooky version of it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so ready? It says. Dude, I'm so fucking high right now. I'm sorry for all of those exclamation points. By the way, you only put three at the. You, that seems like a lot. That's, was, I, that's how I text constantly. So Sierra, okay, let's wait. go back. So I, you said how'd your flight go? You probably should be landing or getting off the plane. I'm assuming still at the airport. I said, ha ha, I just landed. Not exact. Honestly, not terrible. I'm shocked. Dealt with a huge bitch in front of us. <laughs> that was the Karen. If you heard from the episode before, she she was a bitch. Yeah. In front of us because Sawyer wasn't completely quiet the whole time. But all things considered, she did amazing. LOL. You said, I'm so glad. Three exclamation points. <laughs> but Je- that's not normal I know, for that's me. Not. Jesus, it's a 2.5 hour. F- it's a 2.5 <laughs> hour. That's what you said. Bring headphones, watch a movie, fucking relax. <laughs> and then you said, dude, I'm so fucking high right now. I'm sorry for all those exclamation points. That just feels aggressive and like I'm trying to trick you into thinking I won't bully you at school or something <laughs> because you let me borrow your homework. <laughs> I've been trying to write down my thoughts. I even recorded a conversation with Shane that led to fascinating realizations. If anyone has ever been close to using all parts of their brain, it would be me right now. I feel as if I'm trying <laughs> I feel as if I'm time traveling. Oh, fuck. Ollie just scared the shit out of me. (laughs) And that was what time? That was that fucking... It was like 9 o'clock because I went to bed before 10. Like that, Seriously? Oh, no, that was at 10.50. I lied. Yeah. Because that was when we were traveling. So we didn't get off the plane until Ollie like 10 o'clock. went to bed at like 7, 7.30. And yep. then he's been getting up and climbing into bed with us. And so... But you don't, weren't expecting that. Uh, what, that. Not right then. No. Not right in the middle of what I was doing. <laughs> Because before I sent you this, yeah, this is what I wrote in my notes, okay? Because I don't, I don't get high, okay? But I did this. I took a, a half, half of a gummy, mm-hmm. okay? And I'm in the hot tub and I'm looking at Shane and I'm like, who even are you? Oh, who no. are you? <laughs> and we started having this conversation and I said, you need to record this. Yeah. And so he starts recording it. Did and you we listen back and be like, not the- yet, okay. because, God. but I remember we uh-huh. started talking about something and I realized part of the conversation, the reason I told him to start recording is because I was asking him about how his brain works mm-hmm. and what happens when he's thinking about something or when he's being told information. And he says, it's like a list. He's got like five bullet points. And they're finite. So as soon as those five bullet points are full, he's got to like address one of them to clear it out to make room for another. But if people are giving him a lot of information, he doesn't know which ones to prioritize and it can overwhelm him. Interesting. Me, I feel like I, I'm a, my, my brain is like when you're scrolling on your phone. Yeah. Like I can take in information as easily as I can move on from it. Uh Uh-huh. But I can pull it back. Yes. And so I now feel like I understand him better because when he gets overwhelmed in a situation where I wouldn't get overwhelmed, Mm -hmm. it's because the way that our brains are processing information are completely different. different. Yeah. And so I can say, oh, okay, is your... Your shit's not fucking bullet pointing. Your your bullets are full. Okay, I'll pause. And then we can... It's not not a you're not listening. Yeah. It's you've got too much going on. And it's different I'll give you time to process it. (laughs) (laughs) yes so i brought up a recent argument that we had had and i said that makes so much sense to me because when this happened this is probably what was going on blah 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 and that's when his face changed and i was like you look like a stranger to me (gasps) and he turned off the recording and i was like why did you turn off the recording my scary and he was like well i got uncomfortable and i was like (gasps) Why did you get uncomfortable? We're not we're not actively fighting. You didn't do anything wrong. I didn't do anything wrong. Nothing we're saying we're a, is a wrong. Conversation. But what I realized in that moment is I was over it. So I didn't care about rehashing uh, what had happened where uh, he was still holding on to shame, guilt, embarrassment. And so he wasn't ready for other people to potentially hear that because that mm. equaled like shame for him yeah interesting so i that's when that's why i said i had a fascinating realization because when he 
when he wants to like hide and, and be reclusive and, and like doesn't want people to know it's, it's not because he knows he's doing something wrong. It's because he, he knows he's doing something wrong or, or he didn't handle it how he wanted to. And he's afraid that other people are going to like make him feel worse about it than he's already making himself feel. Interesting. If that makes sense. Yeah, sure. So, but I didn't get that. I didn't feel that way. I didn't care if other people heard us talking about it because I At had that already. At point, it was over for, for me, you. For me. I didn't yeah. know that was still something that he was kind of like beating himself up about. Right. Right. Wow. That's interesting. That's what I'm saying. Fascinating realizations. Yeah. So then we go inside afterwards and I was like, I really hope that I remember this conversation because I, I genuinely feel like I understand the universe because I was saying, <laughs> I was saying that. Time. The most cliche shit for someone know, who doesn't I smoke know. to be high. I said there are stoners listening right now that are rolling the fucking eyes. So I don't know. Hard. I don't know. But I said there's more proof that time is infinite than there is proof of time being finite. Give it to me one more time. I'm sorry, my brain there's, can't. <laughs> there's can't more proof of time being infinite, no beginning, no end. Yes. Than there is time being finite. Sure. Because we don't know if it ever ends. How the fuck would we? And we can't pinpoint a beginning. Oh my God. Because right. even the Big Bang, what was the catalyst for the Big Bang? Yeah, we don't know. Exactly. We don't know shit. We'll exactly. never know. We're so stupid. We're little stupid, stupid little ants. <laughs> and that's why I was, don't know shit. That's why I was saying there's more proof of it being s- cyclical and circular and no I beginning, no end. That. So. So. I'm high as shit and I go to bed and I'm laying there and my brain won't shut the fuck up. Uh, that, okay. That is my so nightmare loud. when I'm high. And this is what I wrote. Are you ready? Okay. Duality and absolutes are both dualities and absolutes. Oh, I'm not going to be able to process <laughs> this at all. Uh, you lost me almost immediately. <laughs> it gets worse. Wait, what? <laughs> Duality and that. Hold on. Duality and absolutes are both dualities and absolutes. Go home. (laughs) The definition of the other is the other. Stop. The simplest of words have the most complex explanations explained in the simplest words. You're not even (laughs) saying everything is nothing. It does not exist. Nothing is everything. Being the absence of everything shows that nothing is absolute, but if nothing is, so is everything. (laughs) I'm alone. I'm alone in my bed just typing this, okay? Then I write, something can't be nothing or everything, but it also could. (laughs) And then I wrote, that's enough, you idiot. Bye, you dumb fuck. (laughs) And then I wrote, the mist is all of me and none of me, but even the none of me is me. And then this emoji. Ah! <laughs> the, the winking eye. Ah. <laughs> and, then, and then the universe is trying to understand itself. Sure. People feel like the other half of a whole because they are. In a million different ways, they are. Breakups are so hard because the universe was so close to knowing and loving more of itself, but for whatever reason, couldn't connect. It mourns its closeness to completeness through grief and begins the search for itself again. Wow. (laughs) None of that. None of that went into my brain. I have to let you know. The universe is like a puzzle. Sure. It's being drawn together by energy. The energy makes up the edges. The puzzle can shift. Pieces that fit together once can't find themselves able to again later. That's not how puzzles work. The edges (laughs) wax and wane, fitting every piece and no piece at the same time. There's a lot of everything and anything all the time. (laughs) The puzzle longs to be complete. Life isn't a race. But the faster you accept the universe healing itself through your encounters and your ability to utilize the body for healing, the more balanced and centered and healed you'll be. And the collective consciousness at large since ultimately that is what i presume the universe is made out of i'm not gonna lie to you when i have a fight with any white man on facebook that's what i feel like it's (laughs) with them they're just like i'm gonna say everything and nothing all at once (laughs) i'm I'm gonna use the most words possible to to say say nothing nothing. (laughs) 
but that's what I mean. That's that's exactly what I'm talking about, though. Yes, you like, really you proved your fucking point there. <laughs> every, you can just be grandiose, but say nothing. nothing. But I technically, like, you said a lot. You said so much there, but, but I, also nothing. Honestly, it was. <laughs> I got almost nothing. From you got exactly it. <laughs> is what you got. <laughs> point proven. <laughs> Tick. <laughs> Am I wrong? Wow. Are you gonna tell me that <laughs> I'm wrong? Gonna? I think I'm having a heart attack. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I've been having really bad chest pains recently. You, hey, if you do ever have that, you should go to a doctor. But just try to take a deep breath, real quick. Fill all of your lungs. Oh, when I think about that, I can't breathe. I know, but try it again. <laughs> I'm gonna be fine. And if not, then I'll die. And <laughs> either way, I can't Everything do anything about anything. <laughs> Either way, I can't do anything about it. I'm either going to be fine or I'm going to die. And there's yeah, no I think I it. think the universe is like, wow, you're telling our secrets. I told you that confidence. <laughs> <laughs> when you were high. Uh. <laughs> anyway. So that happened. So when Which did you prompted get, me. I was going to say, when did you get this idea? Explain well, to the people. Because I'm still confused. I'm going to be honest. You called me <laughs> out of the blue. And we're just like, I have an idea. This is what's happening. We're doing it. And bye. And I was like, all right. But also, I have no fucking idea what this means. So. I couldn't grasp it, I don't think. There's a creator. Firmly grasp. <laughs> <laughs> there's a creator that I watch. Um. I've watched them for a long time, but I, I am really into watching them now because there are some things that have come up in therapy where I feel like their journey is helpful for me to understand my own. And they did um, a video where they were asking AI to explain their disorder. Interesting. And they were like, I want to see if AI says the correct stuff or has the correct information or if it's off or if it's going to use tropes. Yeah. So um, I'm watching this video and I'm thinking there's a lot of chat GBT is free. Yeah. I think there's, I don't know if there's more than one kind of version, but I, we use the free one and you just give a prompt. You mm. just say, do this. And then it generates stuff. Yeah. So I got on and I typed and I tried to be very, very specific because they say the more specific you are, the better. I tried to be very specific and say, um, using episodes from 2021 until present create of the ladies and tangents podcast, create an episode, um, about scandals. Oh, and my all of God. a sudden, host one, host two, it just starts going. <gasps> I did this for a scandal one. I did it for a true crime one. <gasps> now, the true crime one, it did it. And then it was like, and we'll come back next week to see how the story ends. And I was like, no, 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 no. I so I wrote continue until the story ends. <laughs> so it it finished it, it, I think. <gasps> yeah. So we've got a two part true crime. What? And then I, d I said write an episode again i said using you know uh, ladies and tangents um write an episode that would win a comedy award i promise you it would not it would, <laughs> it, it would not but it was funny that it thought it would okay good all right well, we'll so see. we're gonna be host one and host two i can't wait and, and uh this is this is ai wrote our podcast episode yay i'm so excited we're gonna read it for you mm. but first i'm gonna get another beer mm -hmm. okay all right, here we go. Hold on. I got to get the thing up. Okay. Sears host two, right? I'm host and I'm host two. one. Yeah. All right. Okay. I wish I made the font bigger, but here we are. I know. We're so old. I'm like. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Ready? It is so funny to me. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another exciting episode of Ladies and Tangents, the podcast where we dive deep into scandalous topics and leave no juicy detail unturned. I'm your host, Sarah, and I'm joined <laughs> by my fabulous co-host, Emily. How are you doing today, Emily? Oh, Sarah, I am beyond excited for today's episode. I've got the scandal meter set to maximum, <laughs> and I am ready to spill the tea on all the latest gossip. But before we get started, let's take a moment to thank our amazing sponsor, Luxurious Slash. <laughs> because when it comes to scandal long lashes are a must <laughs> <laughs> that's what i always say i'll Thank tell you. you what was kind of spooky to me yeah. is that emily and sarah were the names yeah 
and Sarah was the name of my first unborn child, oh and God. Emily <gasps> is the is my ghost. friend that passed away when we were children. <gasps> yeah, scared. I, I didn't mean to call her a ghost. That was just I mean, in your ghost story thing. Yeah, that's what they said. Who was? Yeah, go trying to. Not my feet. <laughs> I know. I'm trying to cover Not my the feet blankets. Free. The blankets are no. <laughs> whopper jawed. Not these. These are fucking grade okay. A feet. Beef. Beef feet. <laughs> Be feet. Okay, absolutely, Emily. All right, let's kick off this scandalous extravaganza with a topic that's been making waves in the celebrity world. The secret romance of starlets. Oh, I can feel the scandalous vibes already, Sarah. (laughs) It's just every (laughs) scandal is just in every line. Now, our sources have been buzzing about a certain A-list actress who's been caught in a torrid affair with a well-known musician. I'm talking secret late-night rendezvous and rendezvous. rendezvous. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I'm not a newscaster, because I'm fucking stupid. <laughs> and hush-hush getaways to exotic islands. Can you guess who it is? Hmm, I'm thinking it's none other than the sultry Scarlett Johansson and the rock star heartthrob Jared Leto. They've been spotted whispering sweet nothings at award shows and oh, the chemistry. Oh, close but no cigar, Sarah. (laughs) Our insiders have spilled the beans and it's actually the stunning Margot Robbie. I would fuck her. Barbie herself. (laughs) I would fuck her. And the charismatic Harry Styles. I would fuck him. I was going to say, I would. I, that's that's my buy so sandwich. We're going to thruple it up. <laughs> that is literally heaven <laughs> on a platter. Talk about a scandal that would break the internet. They've been playing it coy, but we see right through their secret love affair. Oh, Emily. I love that every, every <laughs> once in a while. Oh, oh, Emily. You always have the juiciest scoop. But let's not forget about the royal scandals that have been captivating the world. Our next topic. Palace intrigues, the royal revelations. Oh, yes. The British royal family always keeps us on our toes. Just when we thought things couldn't get any more dramatic, Meghan and Harry dropped bombshell after bombshell in their recent interview. From tension with the queen to alleged racial insensitivity, it was scandalous to the core. They don't even have any tangents in this. How dare you? That's half of our name. That's literally what I told you to reference, but that's fine. This is not us at all, but it's still (laughs) fun. (laughs) This is still fun to pretend. By the way, I would like to give myself credit for nailing these. I've never read this before this moment. Me neither. Really? No. Look at us. We're doing good. I know. Look at us reading. Who reads? (laughs) And let's not overlook Prince William and his rumored secret love child. <laughs> the whispers of a scandalous affair. Affair? <laughs> there we go, fucking it up. We spoke too soon. The whispers of a scandalous affair have reached fever pitch with tabloids analyzing every interaction and scrutinizing every photograph. Will this royal secret be exposed? I'm clutching my pearl, Sarah. <laughs> The British royal family certainly knows how to keep the scandal mill churning, but let's switch gears a bit and talk about our favorite topic, Hollywood feuds. Hollywood feuds. Ah, <laughs> <Boom, boom, boom, laughs> <boom. laughs> oh, the glitz and glamour of Tinseltown clashes. Who could forget the infamous battle between pop sensations Taylor Swift and Katy Perry? <gasps> From stolen backup dancers to cryptic tweets, their feud had us all picking sides. Absolutely, Sarah. But brace yourself because I've got an exclusive <laughs> I said gloop. Oh, I've it's got a glo- an exclusive, exclusive gloop. <laughs> I've got an exclusive. G- <laughs> I can't say this right. I've got an exclusive scoop. <laughs> okay, elusive poop. <laughs> Oh. Brace yourself because there's a new feud brewing between. <laughs> <laughs> Not me giving myself credit for reading and then fucking up <laughs> the hell in with the place. There's a new feud brewing between two leading ladies who were once best friends. Yeah, you heard it here first. <laughs> Jennifer Lawrence and Emma Stone. <gasps> Sources say jealousy and competing for the same roles are at the core of this scandal. Oh, Emily. You've got my heart racing. Thump, thump. Seriously. It is, it's still <laughs> hurts. It hurts. I'm like a little bit concerned. Oh, my God. We'll go to the doctor. Uh, this feud, after we finish the scoop, Sarah. this juicy scoop, this feud is going to be one for the books. 
The claws are out, and I can't wait to see how it unfolds. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that wraps up today's scandal-packed episode of Ladies and Tangents. <laughs> Not a shit in sight. <laughs> Not the norm, but here you are. We hope you enjoyed this roller coaster ride through the world of scandal and gossip. Remember to stay tuned for our next episode, where we promise to bring you even more tantalizing and jaw-dropping scandals. Until then, keep those earbuds... Earbuds... <laughs> earbuds in and your minds open that's right emily thanks for joining us and remember keep it scandalous folks goodbye do you think it did a good job yeah we totally sound like <laughs> it sounded like a radio show more than a yeah. podcast yeah that was definitely a news segment that was the news Oh, yeah. If I've ever heard it. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. That's probably what it was pulling from, but I don't know why. It wasn't the reference I gave it. I said, ladies and tangents, you fucking dumbass. <laughs> All right. Are we ready for number two? Yeah. I'm always this ready is, for a number two. <laughs> this is the one um, that I made it do a true crime. Okay. One. Okay. Hello, listeners, and welcome back to another thrilling episode of Ladies and Tangents. I'm your host, Sarah, and joining me as always is the fabulous Emily. Oh How God. are you today, Emily? I'm absolutely buzzing with excitement, Sarah. We have a special treat for our listeners today, a deep dive into a captivating and mysterious crime that has the whole world talking. But before we jump into it, <laughs> let's take a moment to thank our fantastic sponsor, True Crime Tours. <laughs> for the adventurous souls who love to explore real life crime scenes, they're your go-to choice. Oh my what God. What a weird, that is horrific. Horrifying. I know that's a real thing that though. Is... Really? Really? <laughs> I think there is. I think there's like a Hollywood horrors tour. That's kind of gross, of guys. Like Hollywood murders and That's stuff. That's not cool. I know. I feel. I know. Hey, let's remember before we dive into this. Let's remember that true crimes are real things that are are the worst days and moments in some people's lives. Um, yeah. for their relatives and like not just for your entertainment. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Goodbye. Absolutely, Emily. Now let's set the stage for our tantalizing crime story. Picture this. A picturesque, picturesque, picture, picture, picturesque there small town with a dark secret lurking beneath its charming facade. Oh, I can already feel the chills running down my spine, Sarah. <laughs> our, so <laughs> our sources have undiscovered. Nope. <laughs> our sources have uncovered a tale of greed betrayal and a oh. missing priceless artifact <gasps> the legendary diamond of <laughs> desire that's what they call my oh, vagina it's a diamond of <laughs> desires and this last week it was a ruby <laughs> that's right emily this extraordinary diamond rumored to grant the deepest desires of its possessor has been passed down through generations, but tragedy struck when it vanished without a trace from the town's historical museum. <laughs> <laughs> I love that there's a spit taken, everyone. The thought plicking, Sarah! <laughs> <laughs> Our investigation reveals a web of suspects. Mm -hmm. Our investigation <laughs> reveals a web of suspects, each with their own motives and connections to the diamond. <laughs> Let's start with the Enigmatic. 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 <laughs> Museum curator, Victoria. Rumor has it she was obsessed with the diamond and its power. Oh, yes, Victoria, the woman with a secret past. But let's not forget about the dashing art dealer. Sebastian. Sebastian. Who had been trying to acquire the diamond for years. Could he have gone to extreme measures? To possess it? And what about the renowned... <laughs> I love that we keep changing our voices. <laughs> Gemologist, Dr. Evelyn. Gemologist. <laughs> Known for her expertise. She had access to the diamond <laughs> and the knowledge to make it disappear. Was she tempted by its power? What's happening? <laughs> ah, listeners won't believe this, Emily. But there was another twist. The local celebrity <gasps> chef, Marcus, was desperate for money to save his struggling restaurant. Did he take matters into his own hands and steal a diamond for a quick fortune? Intriguing, Sarah. <laughs> Sarah. Sarah. But 
let's not overlook the museum janitor Harold. I love that like all it is is just like pointing fingers at a bunch of different people. To be lurking in the shadows. That's where janitors mostly stay. Because they're told to stay out of the way. That's where their mops are. (laughs) Could he have been working for someone with nefarious intentions? (laughs) Oh, the suspense is killing me, Emily. But we are not, dear listeners, because our team of crack investigators is on the case. We'll uncover crack the investigators. <laughs> that was a twist I didn't see coming, and that's not that's not a typo. That's not me misspeaking. Our team of crack investigators is on the case. We'll uncover the truth behind the riveting crime, one scandalous clue at a time. Where the fuck am I? I lost this. <laughs> Absolutely. You say we're just getting started. Where? Crack. Crack investigators. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I hate that. I hate that one. Let me start again. Oi! In the <laughs> upcoming episodes, we view key witnesses, examine secret love affairs, and even venture. What the fuck is <laughs> Even any veteran <laughs> into the criminal <laughs> underworld. Underworld. What? What? This crime will keep you on the edge of your seat until the very end. That's right, Emily. So dear, <laughs> so dear listeners, buckle up for a thrilling journey through the dark underbelly of this small town. And remember, if you have any leads or theories, don't have the date to reach out to us. <laughs> well, that's all for today, <laughs> folks. Until next time, keep your mind sharp and your sleuthing skills polished. Stay tuned for the next episode of <laughs> Ladies and Tangents where we'll unravel more of this mesmerizing crap. Goodbye, we did nothing. We just fucking <laughs> threw a lot of people under the bus. I know. We literally said nothing. A we diamond like, disappeared. It could be this person. could be this We person. started the game could of clue. crack. <laughs> That's our crack investigators. We had to pull them from the crack scene mm. so that they could come back. They investigate these diamonds. <laughs> yes. Which are not... Not at all. Jums. What are the symptoms of a, a, a heart attack in a woman? Um, they're different. Okay. What is it? Do you I think? think flu-like symptoms. Okay. Do you have flu-like symptoms? Um, I don't know. And then also numbness in your arm, sharp I, pains. I have tightness over my okay, heart. Okay, that's not good. Like I, I've been like in sh- like sharp pain. Well, you should probably go to the hospital. They don't take chest pain lightly. This is a PSA. If you ever have chest pain, go to the hospital. They'll take you back immediately. They don't okay. take that lightly. So I always advocate because of anxiety. Yes. To go in anytime you have chest pain. Um, because I think that could be. I had somebody pass away who didn't take it seriously. Well, they did. They did. But too late. Right. Um, because we're told so often like, oh, you're young. You're not going to have a heart attack. That's not always the case. So. Right. Definitely. If you're worried, we can go to the hospital after this. Okay. After this. Okay. Because you know I want to finish. Do you want to or do you want to yeah, pause? Yeah, no, I do. Okay, because I was going to say, we can pause. How serious That's is okay. What's your pain level at? One to ten. It's, a, it's enough for me to tell you that I'm in pain. So seven? Eight? <laughs> do you want to go now? No, it's okay. Let's go now. No, it's okay. We can't do this now. You've got me freaked out. If I do this, it feels like a, it's pulling. I don't know what that means. Me neither. I'm not a nurse. But like, I don't. You're the wrong one. I don't feel You got to call Corey. Corey okay. will come and help you. I don't feel it if I'm like this, but then sometimes when I laugh, it. Sharp. Yeah. So mm. maybe it's a, I pulled a muscle? Maybe. <gasps> I was trying to get that ice out of there. Oh. When I was ham- Oh, yeah. When I did this just then, that hurt. That could have been. All right. If you want, we can call Corey after this too. Okay. Or do he'll you want to call him right now? He'll come take your blood pressure and shit and tell you if you're having an arrhythmia. And palpitations. I don't know those words, but the, anytime I have chest pains, he does a full fucking workup on me and tells me if I'm. You want to call him? You can, yeah. We're gonna call him right now. Okay. Hello. Hey, are you going to get the dogs? I already did. Okay, Jerry. Um, we're in the middle of the second episode, but Jerry is having heart, like chest pains. Okay. I told her we should call you, cause I I don't I'm not the person to talk to about that. I mean, what kind of chest pain? Is it like, you know, heavy? Was it, was it 
Sharp. Sharp, heavy. Sharp and like tight. Sharp and tight. And was it just all of that? I did have caffeine. But... She had caffeine, but it was kind of all of a sudden, I think. It just happened since we've been doing the second one, correct? Yeah. You trying to say deep breath? Deep breath. He's doing it now. Like in it, in the part that you can, it out. Does she feel like her heart's racing? Do you feel like your heart's racing? No. No. I can't feel my heart at all. Like very, like really deep breath out. That's what. And uh, probably take a break for a little bit. Thank you. And like heart trip. Yeah, that's what I told her. I said you don't take chest pain like not seriously. Maybe put your feet above your head. Okay. Yeah, but yeah, the uh, only thing I would say, sharp is. Better than heavy. Mm. Okay. So, uh, when I laugh more is when I feel it. She said she feels it more when she laughs. Just her going I think it's a muscle. Like all, just like Could it be a muscle cramp. pain? Because she just like. Well, yeah, that's usually what I mean, it, it literally be a pain in your heart. Well, she's putting, oh, she's putting her arms up over her head and it's like. It hurts when you do that, or what? You feel like a tightness more when mm-hmm. you're like putting it your can arms also up. Be like diaphragm, mm. like that's probably more likely. Where it's like your actual muscles. That's why I always take the deep breath. Yeah, because you literally out diaphragm. Yeah, I got you. Okay, we'll take yeah. a little break. <clears throat> All right. All right, I love you. Thank you so much. Bye. Take a little break. Lay on the floor and put your feet up. Um, We called Father Corey, and I took a break. Yeah. The pain has persisted, but I did forget that I tried to get the the bag of ice that I got and put in our fridge freezer, which I don't even think that door is all the way closed now that I'm looking at it. Um. It's stuck. It won't come out. I was using two different hammers yeah. to try and get a little <laughs> bit of ice out for my water. And I tried to pull the bag out and I think I pulled a muscle in my chest. Yeah. I genuinely think that's what it is. But I just you, 32, man. I know. 32, you don't you can't do as much. I forgot to tell you that on my uh my series of unfortunate events vacation that on the flight home, mm-hmm. um, Sawyer dropped her bottle maybe and frontier if you've flown frontier is your tight squeeze fucking yep. crammed in there and imagine having a lap child on you mm-hmm. during that it was wild lap child lab <laughs> your child so i was like don't worry because Corey's like i certainly can't bend over i have her on my lap i'm like i'll get it for you mm-hmm. i reach over and bend down and literally pull this muscle completely like oh it was instantly like <gasps> Oh my god oh my god and i start i like yelped like a fucking dog like a lab dog <laughs> yes like a lap child <laughs> and uh of course like oh my god are you okay and i was like i think i just pulled a muscle the whole ride home i was just like ow 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 <gasps> couldn't raise my arm i still mm-hmm. am having some trouble with mobility so yeah yeah I 32 is rough turns out i was gonna say you're not even 32 yet but when this comes out you will be. i will be <laughs> <laughs> speaking to the future Okay, we left you on quite a cliffhanger. We have part two of Who Stole the Diamond? I'll do it in my regular voice this time. I'm sorry. Oh, wait. I lost my fucking shit. Oh, always. (laughs) All right, ready? Hello, listeners, and welcome back to another thrilling episode of Ladies and Tangents. I'm your host, Sarah, and joining me as always is the fabulous Emily. How are you today, Emily? I'm absolutely buzzing with excitement, Sarah. We have a special treat for our listeners today. We already said this part, I'm pretty sure, and it's fine. It's a deep dive. Is into- it? It's the same intro as last time, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. A deep <laughs> I was like, I can't always be buzzing with things. I'm absolutely coming with excitement. Oh no, Sarah. that's not the that's not the new one. Oh, okay. oh wait, yes it yes is. it is. So oh, wait. okay, wait. So we have to do all these. No, it can't be the same one. We're doing the no. That's a different one. We got to do another one. Go down. Go down more. Is there more? 
Did you yeah, do the exact do same thing? It's the exact same one. Oh my God. What a bunch <laughs> of fucking phonies. That makes me so mad. I said continue the episode until it's solved. And they did it. They didn't solve it. They didn't solve it. Well, I guess that we're going to move on to our final, final episode created by AI. And this one was uh, supposed to win a, a comedic award. Oh, so shit. So are you ready? Oh, God. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a very special episode of Ladies and Tangents, the podcast that takes a hilarious twist on life's quirkiest topics. I'm your host, Sarah, and I'm joined by the ever-entertaining Emily. How are you today, Emily? Oh, Sarah, I am bursting with laughter, <laughs> not buzzing with excitement. <laughs> and I am ready to dive into this comedic masterpiece we prepared for our lovely listeners. <laughs> but before we get started, let's take a moment to thank our fantastic sponsor, Chuckles Comedy Club. <laughs> <laughs> because when it comes to laughter, they always deliver. Now, do you know who else delivers comedy? The Improv in Pittsburgh, which will be tomorrow. Hey, go and there. This Helium is not AI. Comedy Club in Buffalo. In Buffalo on the 29th. We'll see you guys there. And not Toronto. Um, because I'm not allowed to go there. <laughs> we gotta figure out if Sierra's allowed in Canada. Yeah. Because we'll we see. almost picked up a third show in Toronto on the we're like, on the 30th. Sorry, I don't yeah. know. <laughs> All right, here we go. Is it my turn? Yeah, chuckles. Oh, <laughs> because, okay, okay, okay. Absolutely, Emily. Now hold on to your funny bones because today's topic is the absurdities of everyday life. We'll be sharing hilarious anecdotes, bizarre encounters, and outrageous situations that will leave you rolling on the floor laughing. Oh, Sarah, I have a story <laughs> that's guaranteed to crack our listeners right up. Picture this. I recently found myself in a supermarket checkout line minding my own business <laughs> when a suddenly the customer in front of the customer <laughs> when a suddenly the customer found so <laughs> the customer in front of me decided to pay for the groceries with a bag of loose change <laughs> poverty am i right <laughs> <laughs> Oh, how funny the poor are. Oh, oh, no, 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 you have no, 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 no. the poor. <laughs> hey, Emily, <laughs> you're a dick. <laughs> and I mean, who needs a piggy bank when you have that kind of determination? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Emily, that's priceless. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> Price. Priceless. Price. Poor people. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Uh, but let me top that with my own ridiculous encounter. Last camp. week, I had the pleasure of attending a paint and sip event where everyone was supposed to create a beautiful masterpiece while sipping wine. Well, let's just say that my painting looked more like a drunk penguin attempting ballet. <laughs> not, 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 not the untalented. <laughs> well, the drunk and the untalented. <laughs> Needless to say, my artistic talents are best left in the realm of stick figures. <laughs> Penguins aren't even that hard to draw. <laughs> ah, I couldn't do it. <laughs> oh, Sarah, I can already feel the tears of laughter streaming down our listeners' faces. Are you guys you crying? feel it, Mr. Krabs? <laughs> <laughs> but wait, here's another gem for you. And another one. <laughs> Picture this. I decided to try my hand at home gardening, envisioning a lush oasis of flowers and vegetables. <laughs> well, my plants had other plans. Oh, uh, did they have oh, plants? My plants had other plants. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit of a plantception. <laughs> and instead of growing tall and proud, they seem to be playing a twisted game of hide and seek, <laughs> burying themselves deep in the ground. <laughs> Neglect. <laughs> they were potatoes. <laughs> you, you thought wrong. I meant to do that. <laughs> It's safe to say that my green thumb is more like a green doll. <laughs> Gangrene. <laughs> my foot is falling off. <laughs> I need a doctor. <laughs> Help. Oh, Emily, you have a way of turning the simplest things into comedic gold. Because I'm inept. <laughs> I'm a big dumb idiot. <laughs> Golden... Potatoes, that is. This is sponsored by Idaho. I, this is sponsored by the Yukon. <laughs> this is sponsored by Big Potato. 
baked potato. They're out here and they are covered in foil. (laughs) (laughs) But I can't resist sharing my own gardening misadventure. I thought it would be a brilliant idea to grow my own tomatoes. (laughs) Potato tomato, you know what I'm saying? (laughs) (laughs) Tomatoes are easy, you idiot. (laughs) Only to discover that my tomatoes had a vendetta against me. Mm. They refused to ripen, turning my garden into a never-ending tomato soup tragedy. Get her some grilled cheese, (laughs) because this bitch has a soup catastrophe. (laughs) Ah, Sarah. Ah, what if you just ah, 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 ah. I almost swallowed Natchez now. <laughs> it is flying so close to my mouth. Someone get her a nut sandwich <laughs> to dip in my tomato soup. <laughs> oh, Sarah, I can't stop laughing. <laughs> These tales of everyday absurdities remind us that life is full of unexpected surprises and hilarious blunders and poor people. (laughs) There's nothing funnier. (laughs) And we hope our listeners find solace in the fact that they're not alone in their comical (laughs) misadventures and poverty. No poor people here. (laughs) Jesus fuck. Or soup. Or soup. <laughs> you can't be poor or soup. <laughs> Absolutely, Emily. Laughter is the best medicine. And in this crazy world, we all need a good dose of it. So, dear listeners, remember to find the humor in life's absurdities and embrace the joy that comes with it. We love toxic positivity. That's right, Sarah. And with that, we conclude this <laughs> side splitting episode of Ladies and Tangents. Thank you all for joining us on this comedic adventure journey. That's not the right word. <laughs> Adventure journey. <laughs> Thank you for coming on this comedic quest adventure journey. <laughs> and words. Um, until next time, keep laughing, keep smiling, and keep being fabulous. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. We did it. We did it. How did you think it did? It was horrid, Emily. <laughs> it was so bad, Sarah. Oh, wait, no, am I? I can't. Am I? Sa- I don't know. Who am I? Who am I? Whoops, I was. Am I Sarah? I said, oh, Sarah a lot. So okay, I think then you're I, Emily. Yeah, I must be Emily. Yeah. Yeah. Which is weird. I should be. Because Emily was my friend and Sarah was my, <gasps> my missed baby. baby. And we randomly chose who was going to be who. Oh, my God. I know. I, had a, I told Sierra when we were laying up on the hill yesterday. For you guys, it was a week ago. Um, <laughs> I said, sometimes I have a thought that I... <laughs> when we're laying here laughing on the blanket, it zooms out, and I look over, and no one's actually there. And You're I'm not alone. <laughs> I'm alone here. <laughs> I was like, that's good. What if I would have just rolled myself off the hill? Because we were on like a little patch yeah. up, that there was a downward hill that we kept pissing off of. <laughs> There was like levels. She was like, you can't, don't look at me. And I'm like, I can't, I can't see, see you over I'm the tall here. grass. I swear to God, at one point, because I was um, two beers in, so obviously mm-hmm. intoxicated, because <laughs> I don't drink often. That's what I tell you. And I can get drunk off two beers. Yeah. I'm, this is my second. <laughs> Anyways, one per episode. That's my role. <laughs> if you think that makes me a drunk. I don't. Well, then get off my back, Sarah. <laughs> Sorry, Emily. Oh, Sarah. I think it makes you poor. (laughs) Anyway. Well, like a poor person without a bathroom, I was pissing (laughs) in the wildflowers yesterday. And so when I did it, because I thought it would be really funny, sometimes, especially when I have an audience when I'm peeing who can hear me, (laughs) I think it's really funny to pee as hard as possible. Like, really shoot it out. She She loves it. (laughs) She goes, oh, my God, it's frothing. (laughs) I was shooting it out of me. She's like, you should see like, the head on this piss. It was, it was literally hitting the dirt and immediately becoming foam. I th- was am crazy. 99% sure I had pee splash back into my own face. I d- your pee? Yes, obviously. my pee. Not your pee. <laughs> I was like, get out of here. No. There's no way my pee at that kind of distance. No, it was my pee. No, but I was, I was sitting there with my ass out, just like one leg up like a dog, because I didn't want my one foot yeah. to get wet. And we were on a hill. So no like matter which way aim you it stood. backwards <laughs> so it would shoot out of me from behind and it was and i was like look at it go it was just a, fro- a frothy milkshake yeah. <laughs> yeah we christened 
We did. We christened. I christened that land uh-huh. with you. And I said, do we just like leave these cans up here that when so when Shane and I come back, we can be like, oh, who's been drinking all my land? <laughs> <laughs> all my land. It's us. It was us. Surprise. I'm going to go up yeah. there with Corey. <laughs> just yeah. drink on it. Do it. I'm How are you going to get up there? I don't know. Do either Walk? of your cars have four wheel drive? Yeah, my car does. Oh, okay. Yeah, but I want to drive no, your car up I there. I, <laughs> I was going to say, I don't I'm think scared. So. Yeah. I don't know how the fuck you guys are going to do that in the winter, but you know. Well, they're going to make it easier to drive on. Yeah. It's not going to be like that. Yeah. They're going to do some work Winterize on it. Winterize it. Well, they're going to just do some work on it to be less fucking hilly, steep, and bumpy. We live in Ohio, people, so it gets scurry out here. We live in a valley. We are in a valley. Well, yeah, because they quoted me when they were doing my site development, like $94,000 to cement a driveway. Whoa. And I said, I don't want a cement driveway. No. What am I trying to make my, my driveway a slip and slide? No. Are you serious? You can't. Absolutely not. in not. Ohio. No. Well, not on a, a hill. Not on a hill. We're going to gravel that, that bitch. Yeah. You need traction up yeah. in these bitches. We're going to stay grounded. Yeah. yeah. That's what I know. Yeah, that's what I know. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm Emily. <laughs> I mean, Sarah. I'm Emily. And that's been Hilarity's comedy podcast, Tangents AI. Yeah. After, <laughs> after intelligence. <laughs> well, anyway. Yeah. Anyways. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, Did and you? I'm, I'll update you next week. Either with a funeral announcement or Stop it. I'm fine with this chest. I'm gonna make her go to the hospital. Don't worry. No, I'm, I'm a okay. Hypo- I'm fine. No, I'm a hypochondriac, so I will make you go to the hospital. And Corey just called me back while we were doing this, so I know he's probably checking up on you. Because that's how he is. He, okay. Now he's not gonna let it go either. Both of us are gonna make you go to the hospital. You guys are not good together. That's what I know. I love him. Hey, and the one thing that he doesn't take lately is chest pain. I'm He'll supposed make to go, go on a picnic. It's fuck a picnic. I might. I might. <laughs> anyway, hey, anyway, I guess I have to go to the hospital. I love you guys. It's been real. Um, we'll see you next week. Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. We love you so much. Uh, we're out. Uh, wait. All right. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> wait, what? You didn't say we'll see you next week. I did. And you said hopefully. Oh, fuck. Sorry. I All right, yeah, that right, we'll do it again. We'll do it again. Ready? We love you so much. Thank you guys for hanging out. We love you so much. We'll see you next week. All right. We're out. Goodbye. <laughs>